More than 3 million people, including more than 58,000 Americans, were killed in the Vietnam War. All 58,000 of those veterans' names are listed on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. That's one of the stops veterans make on every western North Dakota honor flight. For many, it's a stop that brings peace. That includes Brian Benish, who for more than 50 years has struggled with his memories from Vietnam. The Dickinson man says going on the honor flight helped him take a big step toward healing. Jody Kurzman has his story. Brian Benish enlisted in the Army in 1969. I knew I was going to get drafted. He had hoped to be a truck driver. Instead, the Army made him a medic and sent him to Vietnam. I was assigned with a medical unit that evacuated and uh, got wounded out, et cetera, et cetera. Got him out alive, hopefully. He quickly earned the nickname Doc. When you go to Vietnam as a medic, and you get with troops and you start treating people, you get the label Doc, and it sticks with you. Doc Benish spent two years in Vietnam. The experience forever changed him. But I think everybody's got some memories from Vietnam that aren't so good. Brian carried his memories and a lot of guilt with him for years. All I knew is there was something going on. He knows now it was PTSD. That's at the war. When Brian was notified he'd be going and on the Western the North Dakota that. Honor Flight in October, he knew it was time to face his demons. In the back of my mind, I was terrified because I was going to have to face the wall. When time came to visit the wall, Brian was overcome with emotion. My first reaction was to kneel down and just Put your hands on it and feel it. I put my hands on that wall and I asked for two things. I asked, I, number one, I said, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't do it for everybody. I, I tried. I did the best under the circumstances. But number two, I asked for forgiveness. Immediately, he felt lighter, as though a burden he'd been carrying for more than 50 years had been lifted. I got rid of some things that I've carried for too many years. He left much of his guilt and his cap at the wall. I wanted to leave something, and I felt that hat was part of me, and I needed to leave part of me. Doc has also experienced healing at the cemetery. I'm the flag man. That's me. Every Memorial Day, he places an American flag on the grave of every veteran buried in Dickinson Cemetery. No soldier should ever, ever be forgotten. Ever. He places nearly a thousand flags every year. If they're a veteran, they need a flag. For Doc Benish, it's about something bigger than just a front page headline. Yes, it it's is. It's about honoring those who served and giving them the respect they deserve. It's also about healing, no matter how long those scars have been there. In Dickinson, I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader.